What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mario Kart 64. As always, I'm your host Red Falcon Games and today we're going to be taking on the special cup. The final last cup in Mario Kart 64 and this will be the last part of the Let's Play. We're going to start off with DK's Jungle Parkway. This is this is a fun track. I enjoy it. It can be a, a bit glitchy and weird sometimes, but overall it, it's a fun one I think. Uh, it's also on Mario Kart Wii, for those of you who play Mario Kart Wii, you should recall this one. Um, about this track, I don't know, I, I like it. It's got a weird, it's it's a jungle feel, it's definitely different than most tracks in Mario Kart. And uh, yes, can I get him to, yes, took out Mini Wario there. We ran into some trouble with Mini Wario last time in the Star Cup episode, when I tried to smush him and he just ended up wrecking me. So I got a bit of a revenge there, but it looks like he's still coming up on top oh man all right a golden mushroom in third place is definitely key i should have saved it for the cut right here oh dang why did i not do that why did i oh gosh there's me it's glitchy slipping again because i'm lightweight toad he probably weighs like 10 pounds compared to the physics of his slipperiness in this game uh i just hit peach and she just like stopped she didn't even get taken out but whatever i'll take it Oh, I'm get oh, by the way, if you go in the grass, if you go off track, you'll get hit by these coconuts. I don't get it. Um, I, I don't know. The coconuts just get randomly thrown at you. It makes absolutely no sense. But then again, Nintendo logic. I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, red shells on this track. Oh, my gosh. Can I just land one, please? What? I just stopped in the middle of the road. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, they can often make you spin out if you're a lightweight like Toad or Yoshi or Peach. So you gotta watch out. And holy crap, I'm doing really bad. Alright, here we go. Guys, this is huge. I've gotten first place on all the other cups. I can't stop now. Oh, this is gonna be legit, too. I, I haven't retried. I'm not gonna retry. Whatever I record is what's gonna happen. So, that even puts more on the line. I gotta try so hard to get first. Alright. I usually end up doing pretty well in the last lap, even though I probably just jinxed it there. That's alright, third place is good. Another thing about this jump, you can cut off the angle. In Mario Kart Wii, you automatically like get warped as if it were a cannon to like the end, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, in this one, it is different. You can predict where you... Frick, no, I, I could have saved it for the shortcut again. Oh my gosh, I am so dumb in this episode. I am really... Uh, I need something good here. Can I get first? Three red shells, that's not good enough. Wario is right there. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I just got Wario. He was right there. I don't know what happened to him. But there we go. There is our first place victory on DK's Jungle Parkway. Wow, look at that last lap. 48 seconds. Ooh, what a lap. Wow, I'm proud of that. Looks like Wario is going to be on me in this match. I don't know, maybe. And we got Peach and Yoshi there. All right. So there is our first race in this special cup. It's always good to start off with a first place victory. And uh, here goes Yoshi Valley, one of my most disliked Mario Kart tracks ever. And this one is just completely different to any other track. It doesn't tell you what place you're in. Um, I, I don't understand this. It, I, it kind of annoys me, to be honest. It's just, I think it's stupid. I don't know, it's, I like to see where I am. It, it just doesn't tell you what place you're in. It doesn't show who's in first, second, or third, or fourth. And it also doesn't tell you in the bottom left corner that it usually does whether what place you're in. Or you know what I mean. <laughs> I kind of messed up the speech there. Another thing about this is it's really tricky. Unless you know the way to go, there's so many different, like, routes you can take. And they're just annoying. You can fall off easily. The, there's not many walls. I don't know. I just, I really, I don't, I don't like this one. I mean... The only thing it has going for me is the music. The music is, is priceless. Like when I, I always used to sing this song like all the time in my head when I was younger. It's just one of those classic Mario Kart songs, you know? And I, I am sure to bring that to the, your attention. And we will be bringing that to your attention later in the episode, trust me. I will be. Uh, <laughs> and I just totally missed items there. Yeah, and, and once you come up towards the end of this track, there's this green Yoshi egg. It's annoying. It can be in the middle right where you want to go through the track sometimes, thus making you just automatically 
like get squashed or have to wait. It's kind of like the train in Calamari Desert where, I mean, you could get screwed over or you could get really lucky, you know. But we're entering the final lap here. I'm pretty sure I'm in first. The thing that you can um, you can look at is the mini map. I should have mentioned this before in the bottom right. That's something that they left in. I'm glad on this track. So you pr you can kind of know what place you're in. If you're in the middle of the stack, though, you're not you're not gonna know. But if you're in first or second, you'll probably know or last for that matter. All right, coming down the final stretch of this this uh, track. I know I got Peach on my tail. Other than that, it seems to be smooth sailing. So at least I can get second. Uh, Peach just got taken out by the banana, and then a fire green shell back. Doesn't look like I hit anyone. But I think I'm in good shape. No, I just drove over the grass. It's not good. No, no, no. Oh, my goodness. I got first. Wow, that was poor handling at the end of the race there. Very poor. Managed to pull it out. That's all right. Oh, my goodness. That's great. Two first place places in, uh, in Special Cup. I'm really proud of that. That's awesome. And it was Peach Wario got fourth. That's very good. So now I'm double Peach, and it looks like I'm in a good position. But here's another very hard track that I'm not a huge fan of. It's called Banshee Boardwalk. Um, it's just, to be honest, it, it kind of, I feel like it kills the spirit of Mario Kart. I don't know. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but there's, there's barely any music. It's very faint, and it's just, I don't know, it's creepy. It's one thing if you take a creepy level and make it cool, but I don't know. This level, I just got a star in first. I just got a star in first and fell off the edge. I know that edge is really hard unless you drift. Wow, that's crazy. I've never gotten a star in first before. I, 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 I had an idea that it was possible because I know uh, Mario Kart 64 has well, is very generous with items. I just got rocked by Bowser and didn't spin out. That's that's pretty awesome. But I don't know. I'm really not a huge fan of this this track uh, the, the walls are are weird like some there'll be walls all around and there just randomly won't be any and you'll easily fall off the drifting is a bit weird I've noticed on this track that it's harder to drift I don't know it's just it's just kind of weird um I'm I'm one to be fond of uh, oh my god yeah I had to break oh I didn't even get it off wow this is a tough tough level I'm one to be uh, I love the happy levels I love the the up-spiriting music, the awesome track, the fun type. That's what I like in a lot of games. I don't like many, like, depressing or, like, or, you know, you know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. So, having this, oh, my God, I just wrecked Bowser. That was the greatest thing ever. But I don't look like I'm going to place. I don't know. It's quite a long track, but still. <laughs> I just got caught on the thing. The worst part about break in this game is that you can't reverse. Usually in racing games, there's, it's break, reverse. You can't reverse in this. So you have to figure out some way to steer when you're against an object, and that's just that's just something that's pretty hard. And you know, <laughs> it's a lot easier to just re be able to reverse. I just took out Mario's banana, but not him. I gotta really be careful here. Oh my goodness! All right, I got that pre going into the water, so I didn't lose it, and I was holding down A, so I spun out. Um, I think if you, yeah, if you go in the water with your item. Just like any other Mario Kart game, you lose it. I'm pretty sure you lose it. But I just got that. That thing stopped. Oh my god, stupid bats. That thing stopped um, previously, or, or after I went in the water, so I got it. Doesn't look good here, guys. I'm getting seventh. Oh my gosh, sixth. It looks like I might have to redo this race. I've had to do that before. Yep, that's a fifth place place or whatever. So I'm going to have to redo this track. Oh my goodness! I'll see you guys in a second when I can t when I can place a top four victory.
Alright guys, we're on the final lap, third place, and it looks like I'm in second now, I just took out Wario. We're on the final lap of Banshee Boardwalk, this is the first retry, I'm sure you will see because I'm going to fast forward this race. And it looks like the first place man is way, way ahead, you can see he already left the thing, this little room here, so... DK looks like he's getting, oh my, wait a second, go by, go by Peach, I dare you, yeah, there's the lightning, wow, wow, I, um, I couldn't have got that at a better time, but at the same time, <laughs> there was no way I was catching DK, look at those laps, 43 second final lap is very good, and there's a second place in Banshee Boardwalk, I think that automatically gives me the first place victory in the special cup. Uh, yes it does. It does, I'm up by 12 points, and the max someone can gain on me is 8. But this is Rainbow Road. And guys, oh my goodness, this track is incredible. This is probably my favorite track in all of Mario Kart. It's gotta be. It's gotta be my favorite track ever. It's, yes, definitely, it's my favorite track in Mario Kart. There's so many things about this track that are glitchy, and just weird but if you can look past that and look past the freaking chain chomps that wreck you every single second this track is just truly classic um oh my gosh it brings back so many memories of me playing this game that's why i say the nostalgia factor is what does you for your game you know what i mean like <laughs> i mean there's so many games i play today that are so much better than the, the, the little old games that i used to play when i was young but the, the fact that you grew up with these games and that, you know, this this game, if I just started playing this now, I would be like, what the hell, man? This game is so glitchy. It's annoying. The tracks are annoying. You know, I'm done with this. I mean, the music's good, but that's about it. But I don't know. Just something about me, you know, went on with this game. There's a few games that I feel like that, and it's, it's definitely this one. This one... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's something about the music, something about the colors, something about all the characters. It's just something about everything in this game that just that just pieces itself together and makes it one of the most classic racers that pretty much ever released. Um, I mean, having this in 1996, I mean, that's crazy. I would have, if I were around, but I, I wasn't around, but if I were of age that I could understand video games, at that point, I would have had so many friends over and I would have gamed so hard on this. And, um, I don't know, I'm kind of upset that I missed that generation. But I definitely was able to relive it, you know. Like, through my brother, who had an N64. And, uh, we played it all the time. And what the hell was that? That was just weird. But, yeah, I did live, I did not live through the N64 generation, so to say. It, it was just pretty much the time it was ending I was really getting into video games but um I still was able to play it a lot since my brother had it from when it came out recently and uh, he had it for a few for a bunch of years of course I still have it but uh, but he had it for a few years prior to me like being able to play video games and uh, it was just amazing we played games like this we played Mario Golf uh, me and my brother are huge friend, fans of uh, Mario sports games those are always fun I don't know I think they're underrated not many people play them I mean, it's it's those are really tough games to LP. Mario Kart games are hard enough. I, there's no way I would let's play Mario Golf, as much as I seriously, truly love that series. There's no way you could do that. Um, I have had ideas for Mario Tennis for the N64 since I really like that game. That I think I might uh, come go through with within the year. But um, I don't know. I, I mean, when people say what's the favorite, what's your favorite Nintendo console, a few people will say Wii. I don't agree with that. I don't know. I think the Wii was pretty cool. But, um, I don't know, there, there just weren't that many great games for it, I don't know. I think Nintendo just wanted to attract a larger audience, so they just went with the Wii, and so many people bought it, and I, props to them for it, but I don't know, it didn't really, it didn't really complement the, the, uh, big Nintendo gamer, you know what I mean? It's just, it was just casual. And I hope the Wii U, uh, gives a little bit of both, if that's what I'm, that's what I'm seeing lately, is that it's gonna... It's going to entertain the hardcore Nintendo gamer and also just the casual one that sits on the sofa and just plays whenever they want, you know? But when people say about, talk about the best Nintendo console, 
I have to hand it to the N64. I mean, oh my god, can I do it? Oh my god, I just did it! I was talking the. Oh my, no. 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 Did I do it? Oh, uh, yes! Yes, I got the shortcut. It just, oh my gosh. I remember that from when I was younger. I really do. I haven't played this in so long, and I remember that shortcut. I can't believe it. I was in the middle of talking, and I just, oh my god, I don't even care that I just got hit by that thing. Oh my god, that's great. But yeah, I really think Nintendo 64 takes the cake. I don't know. For what it did, and growing up with it was just amazing. I totally agree that the GameCube has some amazing games, and it really was the best software and anything for that time. And I think uh, GameCube was the best Nintendo console, but I also think N64 was my favorite, just for, for what it is and what it meant to me growing up and being able to play the games and stuff like that. I don't know, it's just something about this game, something about it, 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 just, it just makes it one of my favorite Nintendo games. I don't know why. The gameplay is a, is is quite weird. It's glitchy and annoying sometimes. Well, in fact, most of the time. But I don't know. I mean, maybe it's that music on the final stretch in Rainbow Road. You know, when you're milliseconds away from Peach that just rubber banded herself all the way next to you even though you got the shortcut. Even stuff like that. It's just something about this game that really, really hits me. I don't know what it is, guys. Maybe if you guys have a similar experience, let me know in the comments. Wario, you are not passing me, brother. First place victory on Rainbow Road. Wow. That is a long track. And despite the shortcut, yeah, it is, that's a pretty big shortcut. It's like 14, 15 seconds. It's crazy. And because I fell off, you know. But, um, wow. Quite a finish. 33 points on Special Cup. I will definitely take that. I'm proud of myself for that. It's an awesome round. There you go. There are the final standings. Round 4 of Mario Kart 64. Here is the final ceremony that we will be able to see. One thing I want to touch on, there is a mirror mode in this. It's above 150cc. It's basically the computer's on 150cc. And you're just playing the tracks backwards. It's in mirror. You know how you look in a mirror and everything's backwards. It's just, it's just like that. And it's really annoying, <laughs> to be honest. I don't like mirror mode that much. That's why I didn't play it. But that is unlockable once you beat... Uh, once you place in a 150cc cup, I believe. I'm not sure. I think that's what's called extra on the main menu. I don't know. But um, there's there's our standings. There's the special cup of Mario Kart 64. One of the most classic games in my game library. And I've it's been an honor to play this for you guys. And uh, it's been so much fun. Probably the most fun I've ever had in a project. I don't know. It's really close between that and Super Monkey Ball 2 and, and how much fun I've had. And uh, this is awesome, just a little four-part LP. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really did, and I hope you guys did too. Uh, thank you so much for watching because without you guys, I would, I would be nothing. I really appreciate all your support. And uh, there we go. There's the gold cup. Once again, thanks. I'm Red Falcon Games. Here's the Mario Kart 64 staff. I was about to end the episode, but I forgot about credits. So you get to listen to me talk for another two and a half minutes. Oh my god, as I go through all the tracks and everything. Dang it, I was I was gonna like I was closing up my commentary. I was like, it's over. See you guys later. Blah. Shigeru Miyamoto, what a dude. Oh yeah, so it's just gonna take us through all the tracks. Mm, this, this music is really good. I just wanted to stop and, and get a listen for it. Oh man, this game, this game is great. It's great. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it just keeps me coming back. I'm sure I'll find this game in my library about a year or two from now and be like, oh my god, I need to play it right now. Um, yeah, programmer. Nice job programming Wario Stadium, guys. Nice job with the freaking glitch that's so overpowered. Nice job rubber banding the computers that always get next to you no matter how fast you go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. I definitely... I This project de went definitely better than I thought it would. Of course. I thought oh, let's playing a Mario Kart 64... Or, excuse me, a Mario Kart game. Whoa, that was cool. Whoa, this is cool. Chocolate. 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 <laughs> I thought Let's Playing a Mario Kart game was going to be very difficult. I mean, I've heard so many things like, Why are you going to Let's Play a Mario Kart game? I don't know. It's, it's a lot of fun. 
I mean, and my voice just went really weird. Uh, I mean, if you guys, if you guys can flow with the commentary, whoa, that's awesome. I mean, I don't want to like toot my own horn, but I've been doing this for over a year, and I, I, I've recorded a lot of videos. I, I, I know what I'm doing, so I'm able to keep my commentary during, you know, racing, and that's that's not very hard. It's not very easy to do. So, I don't know if you're a new LP or or not a very experienced one. I wouldn't suggest doing a Mario Kart Let's Play, but it's definitely a ton of fun, and I've had a bunch of fun doing it. This is what my eighth project. Let's play number eight. Yes, it is. And um, as of another side project, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I don't know. I plan on uh, finishing up Super Mario Sunshine real, really soon. So uh, a new project should be up. I don't think I'm gonna do another side one very soon. It, it, it's got to be at least a few weeks for another side project to see. So there's gonna be no hints or anything in the end of this. Sorry if you're looking for that as usual. But um, there's a special thanks, special thanks, guys. For uh, really, like, I don't know, making my childhood greater. Because this was a game I played so much, and it's really awesome. So, um, I'm glad you guys could be along for this Let's Play. What? What did he say? I don't know. So, there's the end, and, um, is that it? I think that's it. This is one of the few, uh, Nintendo games, or Nintendo 64 games because I think there are some in the NES and SNES. I'm running this a little bit long. i got to hurry up. It's one of the few games that you actually have to turn off to progress. You don't. You can't press Start, A, anything. I'm pressing the buttons. It's it's not working. So I'm going to have to turn off <laughs> the Wii because I'm playing on the virtual console. But I, you have to turn off your console when it, it gets to the end screen. So thank you guys once again for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Red Falcon Games, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Whew, this has been great, and I'll see you guys later.